Hi, this is Sofa Dolls, and I have a video today. I'm going to be sharing my duplicate dolls, and these are some of the duplicates. And they're not; it's not an all doll video, just some of them that I have two or more of the same face, um, or you know, the the same doll. And I'll introduce you to these girls. And the reason I'm doing this is I'm getting ready. I'm considering doing wig swaps um, to make more variety of my collection. I'd like more dolls, and this would be a way to get like a new doll feeling and not have the same doll repeated. So um, this is, anyway, that's why I thought that'd be fun to take a look at who I have duplicates. This is some of the duplicates. I have more to show you, and then some I didn't even bring out. So on the far left is Crystal, which I, I don't think my camera's gonna let me turn it. On the far left is Crystal, and below her is Brooke, number 22. And Crystal was the one doll that my daughter ordered for Christmas. I think it was 2005 with her Christmas money after the holiday. And when she arrived, I just said, oh, I love this doll. She's so pretty. And it was at that doll that made me decide I'm going to collect these dolls. They're really fun. I, at that point, I only had Felicity and Addie. And she just was a big change in my life. And next to her is Jess. I got her the girl of the year. And then I found the other one at a doll show. And next to her is Mary Grace. And below her is one from uh, Jill Steals and Deals. So I got a discount. And a lot of times people ask me, how can you have so many dolls? How do you afford them? Well, I do buy a lot of dolls. Um, sometimes I get them from the store, and sometimes I get them at doll shows. I, you know, I look hard for deals. I've gotten some of my dolls as little as fifteen dollars. Usually at doll shows, I might pay up to forty dollars, and I add a lot of them that way. You know, you can always keep looking at thrift stores and looking on Craigslist. There are deals out there to be found. Um, so that's how I've done it, and I hope you guys can, you know, do that also to add to your collection. Um, but that's how I afford them, is a lot of them are gifts, you know, I, the older I get, the more birthdays I have, more anniversaries, more Mother's Day, um, I have a job, and all those things that add up to reasons to get something or to buy something. Um, so then uh, next to Mary Grace is Kaylee, and the first one I got off eBay, and the second one I got on a doll show. Uh, next to her is Felicity, that is my very first American Girl doll, I believe I got her in 1996. Uh, she was a Christmas gift from my daughter, and then the year Felicity was retiring, I got a newer one, and I kept her as modern. Next to her is number 21. I got her um, for my birthday. I think it was like my 35th birthday. We made a special trip to the store, and I found the other one this spring at a doll show for about 30 or 40 bucks. And next to her is Mia, uh, the girl of the year. I got her, and uh, I my personal shopper Winnie helped me pick out a pretty one and below her I found another Mia who's really pretty at a doll show again for about 30 or 40 bucks. So those are some of the dolls. I have more down on another area to show you my duplicates but I want to talk real quick about the duplicates I didn't get in the video just because I got tired and I really wanted to make this. I also have three Samanthas, two Kirstens, two Josefinas, two number ones, uh, three Nickies, but one of them has been changed into a custom. Two 26s, but one of them has been changed to a custom. Nikki and the 26 switched eyes. And then I have a new number three that just arrived from a friend that no longer wanted her. So I will have two number threes, but one's pre-Mattel and one's Mattel, and they look very different. Um, but I will be making, uh, sending her to the hospital. Okay, these are more of the girls that I have duplicates. As you can see, I have two dolls that are still in the box, Grace and Caroline. I got Grace last year when she went on an incredible sale to American Girl with the plans to um, customize her. And I just haven't had the time to enjoy doing that and I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do with her. So with these dolls, I always keep one as they should be or as they were sold from American Girl. And then I also have a second Caroline. I found her hairstyle and her eyes just gorgeous. So I wanted to do a custom with her. Um, and then I have two Marisols. And the reason being was my daughter got one. And then I loved my daughter. So I got one also. And then when my daughter said, I don't want these American girls. And she, um, she started giving me all of her American girls. And it's always open that she can take them back at any time. But she has she does not want to be a collector like me. And she's always said if when she has a child, if she has a daughter, she'll just buy her new stuff. So I don't know if she will take it back, but it's the option of taking it back is always there. 
And then um, Elizabeth was my daughter's also. And there's one in front that is Elizabeth um, that I recently got from a friend who had tried to make a bald doll. And like again, that was a free doll I got. And uh, I actually just ordered the one in the front a new wig today. And of course, as soon as I ordered it, I walked upstairs and there was a wig that I owned. Um, but I don't know if I would have kept this wig, but it's just one of those things where I did look for the wig, didn't find it, because I thought I had bought a couple of American Girl size wigs, and there it was. So she does have a wig at least to wear while she's waiting for her new wig. So those are the, some of the other dolls. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and let me know, do you have any duplicate dolls? Which ones are your duplicates? Have you done any wig swaps? Let me know. And if you have suggestions on which wig I should try on somebody else, let me know. I'll probably have another video when I get started with those. So thank you for watching again and keep enjoying your dolls.